Hey, if you are new to the wonderful world of trading, this video is for you. If you know a little bit about Forex, you understand what it is, but you're not quite sure what your next step should be, is to watch this video. In this video, I will walk you through the charting platform where I got my start that helped me grow to be the trader that I am today. Over the past seven years, I have learned a lot about trading, about the different platforms, and the tools within the platforms that you absolutely need and some that you really don't. We're gonna go through it from start to finish. This will be a three-part series, but I encourage you to make sure that you pull out your pen, pull out your paper, get away from all distractions so that you can take notes and you can focus. Whether you are new or whether you have some experience with TradingView, I guarantee that there'll be something that you can learn from this video today. If that sounds good to you, go ahead, give the video a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I give out free trades and I do free training as well. And you want to make sure that you're a part of that. Let's go ahead. Let's dive in. Okay, so when you sign up for your account for TradingView with the link in the description, you're going to come to a screen like this. Now, don't let it intimidate you. Don't let it overwhelm you. We're going to go through everything so you understand from the very beginning to the end. So TradingView is a platform that allows you to look at data from several different financial instruments. And so you'll see across here that you have the option to choose from indices, stocks, crypto, futures, forex, bonds, and ETFs. All right. So you can pull up forex and it'll bring you up community ideas i wouldn't say trust those i think you should do your own analysis but they have top stories that are related to the different countries of the currencies that we trade that could impact how those pairs move so what you can do to begin with you can go into products at the top next to the search bar and your super charts is the, where you get the actual data for the pairs so the actual charts and then what's most important probably is going to be the economic calendar the economic calendar will provide you with data of high impact news um, that will be happening in the countries of the currencies that we trade now in order to make sure that you're only getting high impact you want to click this little button here and as you can see nothing really shakes on a saturday or a sunday but when we get to monday now you see it shows you all of the economic reports and the news that is coming out that could impact a pair that you are trading now you can also go to markets at the top menu in order to pull up some other options with uh, the currency pairs so you can look at the currency heat map you can look at all of the pairs or you can pull up just major miners you can pull up exotic um, what i trade and what i teach on how to trade on mostly is majors and minors all right but i think this screen is probably the most important economic news that will impact how you trade so we're going to go back to the home screen the next thing that i want to show you is over here on the right hand men menu you can choose a watch list. You see, I got the dollar index here. I got USDJPY here. I'm gonna get rid of these because these were old and you simply do that by hovering over the currency pair and clicking the trash can off onto the right. And so what it will do, if we spread it out just a little bit so you can see, it shows you the last price of currency, of the currency pair, and then also the change over the day and then the change in percentage. Now you can also set alerts for uh, different pairs that you are looking at and what you're looking to see. You see, I've got several um, <laughs> where I tell myself, look for sell opportunities when price crosses down. So you see that's expired and it's old, <laughs> but um, you can add these things and you can also uh, program it so that it comes to your phone. And I'll go over that. Uh, so that you know exactly how to do that as well. Now I wanna go ahead and I wanna dive into the charts. So once you get to this home screen, what you're gonna do from there is you're going to put in the pair that you are interested in trading. Please make sure that you have symbols selected, right? So you'll see that it says symbols, ideas, scripts, people, and sparks. So um, you wanna make sure that you're under symbols and then you wanna make sure that you click Forex. So the only thing that comes up in the menu are Forex pairs. Now they have majors, they have minors, they have exotics, they have crosses, they have everything, right? So 
For this purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up Euro USD. I'm going to click on launch chart. And from there, let me get rid of this because we start from the beginning, right? From there, you'll see that this is showing me that I am on the four hour chart and it's giving me some weird looking candles, right? So in order to um, stabilize the chart and get everything to fit right, you hover over the price at the bottom and you choose auto. And what that does is it fits the data to the screen, okay? And so what we have here is just the basic chart as it comes. Now, I like the dark interface. Um, I have my MT4 dark, my computer, my phone, everything is dark. My eyes are just used to how this runs. And so what I'm going to do now is I wanna kind of customize my chart. Now, I like all of my candles to be one color. So we can go ahead, we can go into settings. So what I did was right click on the chart and then I was able to pull up these settings and so I like my candles again to be all one color because it's not distracting for me now I don't know how many of you guys are a fan of like fuchsia but <laughs> that's what you guys are going to get today I focus on the um structure like you I, I focus on price action and seeing red and green candles for me is distracting so I just want to keep everything as as simple as I can. So now what I also want to do is I want to go into my scales and my lines. I do not like grids, right? I do not like grids. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to find the grid and I'm going to turn it off. Grid lines, vertical and horizontal. We want the opacity down to zero. <laughs> I don't like it. I like to have just a blank screen and be able to mark my charts from there so that is how you stylize your chart so like i said you could choose anything that you want to pick in order to get the chart how you want it to look now the next important thing that i think you need to know and understand are the actual tools that you will need in order to mark up your chart so the way in which i teach for those of you guys who follow me i do very simple analysis right i don't have a whole lot of bells and whistles on my chart when I'm marking up my chart, there are only five tools that I use. And we'll go over them today. All right, so over off on this left-hand side of the menu, what we're gonna look at are the tools that we use in order to analyze the chart. So the first thing to note is that you have to choose the type of cursor that you want. I prefer the cross right the cross is easy for me to see it's got both horizontal and vertical line so i can pinpoint exactly when i'm trying to find that support or resistance i'm able to easily see and quickly identify there are other tools such as the dot the arrow eraser and magic i, I keep it simple y'all i just use the cross okay and so the other piece that i use is going to be the horizontal line which i can grab here and you can plop it down right so uh you can grab the horizontal line and you can lock the tool in i'm gonna turn off the magnet um, i'm going to lock in drawing mode so this was the option that i chose on the left hand side of the screen almost down towards the bottom and when i choose that option and i choose my horizontal line it means that i don't have to keep going back to the menu to choose the horizontal line that can become annoying as you're moving through 20 something different charts and so having that ability to lock in that tool to go ahead find your support and resistance because as we go through a multiple time frame analysis it is very important <laughs> to have that flexibility you know we talk about getting through charts relatively quickly this is one of the ways that you can do it i'm going to get rid of those lines off my chart the other tool that I use in the lines toolbox is going to be my ray. Now I do not use trend lines to draw trend lines on the chart. I know that probably sounds weird, but I don't. I utilize a ray and for me it's easiest that way because it allows me to connect swing low to swing low without cutting through candles on the chart. That is highly important in the type of analysis that I do. And so I use the Ray tool. I do use the trend line tool when I am mapping out what I think will happen as far as price action is concerned. But uh, I forgot I had this unlocked. 
but but um i use it only to map out like as i'm drawing and i say okay i think i have another 130 pips up to the upside before i get this sale that i want i'll map out what i think price action is going to do with the trend line tool so like i'll draw this out and say okay we got more room to the upside before oh i still got this locked hold on y'all okay Yep, I'll say we got more room to the upside before I get the sale that I want. That's the only way that I use the trend lines. I don't use it to draw trend lines because as I was learning, I found it very difficult to figure out where they went. And so I teach the concept that trend lines are drawn from swing low to swing low and trend lines are drawn from swing high to swing high. It's kind of like you're putting a top on a table, right? A top on the legs of a table. And so for me, the ray was the easiest. So I'm gonna turn off this lock and drawing mode tool. We're gonna get rid of this trend line, right? We're gonna get rid of that. And then I'm gonna go to the next tool that I think is highly important highly it is like key to my analysis and that is the fibonacci tool if you've been around this channel for any amount of time you know that i love my fib but it really really tells you everything you need to know when you are completing that multiple time frame analysis it tells you where to get in it tells you where to get out and it tells you where to place your stop loss right so you have to configure the fib tool in order to get these levels uh, which you can take from here. Or if you have not visited the no cost mini course, I highly encourage that you do so that you can understand how we use this tool through multiple time frame analysis so that we busy people can move through the day and not have to worry about sitting at a computer uh, determining when to enter a trade. All right. So I will open up the settings on this so that you can see exactly what they are. And I had to configure this, right? So all of the ones over here on the left-hand side, these are your entry levels, right? Except the one uh, or the zero, I'm sorry. All of these are your entry levels, except the zero. And all of these are your take profit levels, right? So this 23.6, that's a pullback, a retracement level. 38.2, that's a pullback, that's a retracement level. Your 50% fib pullback retracement level. Then you have your 61A sweet spot pullback retracement level. Your 78.6 and your 86. And now the reason that they're color coded is because theoretically, if price pulls back to a red level, price will take profit at a red level 618. If price pulls back to a blue level, theoretically price will take profit at the blue level. If price pulls back to the green level, price will take profit at the green level. And then if price pulls back to the zero, price will take profit at the one. All right. So make sure you stop snapshot, put this in your notes, pause the video, do what you have to do, but you manually have to program trading view in order to produce the fib like this and then i'm going to go to my next favorite tool all right this came in so clutch right the long and the short position risk management was one of the things that it took me a long time to learn i learned it later in the game and i think if people learn it up front then they will have a better chance of being profitable sooner. And so what this tool is, I grabbed it from over underneath the, the patterns, right? So you have a pattern menu, we'll go in, we'll talk about that. But underneath the patterns, you have a projection. This is your projection. So you can choose long positions, so that means your buys, or you can choose short positions, that means your sales. So after you've completed an analysis, what you can do is you can map out if you think price is going to travel a certain way and i shouldn't do it here um we'll go through because it, it pulled up green um <laughs> it pulled up green and so we don't want it to be green automatically when price prints if price prints in the 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 
the direction that you anticipated, then it will turn that dark green color as it progresses. And then if it hits your target, then it'll go ahead and it'll it'll cancel out. But I think um, there's just a little bit more upside on Euro USD before we see a sale and then an opportunity to re-enter the trade. But we will go over that momentarily, okay? So the beauty of this short tool is short and long, cause they have them for both, is that you plot it based off of your analysis. So in the way we mark up charts and the way I teach how to mark up charts, you identify your entry level, you identify your stop loss and you identify your take profit. And so you can take it straight from the chart, right? You can take it straight from the chart and you can put the parameters of your setup, right? So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna put the lot size at zero and I'm going to say that I want to risk percentage. So you can choose dollar amount and percentage. I preferably prefer percentage because it will keep you on track so that you're using the same method for every single trade. Like you don't have to be a 100% trader to be profitable in this market. You don't even have to be 90, you ain't gotta be 80, you don't have to be 70. You could be a 60% trader, but if you use the formula for risk to reward and risk percentage every single time, you can make a lot of money in this, in this field, right? And so if you don't know about risk management, again, I encourage you to go through the no-cost mini course. I break a lot of stuff down also in how we're calculating it, lot size and units, because um, I'm going to go quickly through this. You can also find that information in the no-cost mini course. But essentially, you can choose what percentage you want to risk based off of uh, every trade. So if you say, okay, I want to risk 3% per trade. Uh, that means that you would have to have 30 trades or 33 trades in a row that fail in order for you to blow your account. So if you're being conservative and you say, I want to risk 1% every single trade, what it's going to do is this is going to calculate your whole setup, right? It's going to calculate your whole setup. You can choose the currency that your account is in. So USD. All right. And so looking at this setup, I've drawn out a 54 pip stop loss. I've drawn out 231 pips in profit. So this is telling me that if the trade goes left, right, and it doesn't go my way, at most out of that $1,000 account, I will lose $30 and the amount will be $970 that remains in that account. That's if it goes left and blows the stop loss. If it goes right, the way that it's supposed to, it's like, no, not the way it's supposed to, but if it goes correctly and hits the target of $231, I will have gained $127.62. You feel me? You got me, you got me. Hold on, I'ma go in. Let me get rid of this. Cause this got me in some weird, weird. Okay. So what it's telling me here is that off of this setup, let me make sure I got this right. Yeah, 3%. Off of this setup, I could trade 55 cents per trade and make $127. I know you're probably like, girl, what? <laughs> what? How did you know? Well, y'all gonna have to watch part two so we can break this down even further, okay? I didn't wanna make this video super, super long, but now we're getting into the good stuff. So make sure that you stay tuned for part two it will be out soon and if you know how to use this stuff already let me know in the comments i don't want to be making this and you already know what to do um but if you found this video to be helpful if you found it to be beneficial in your trading journey and just give you a little bit of clarity as you move through this space give it a thumbs up consider sharing it with somebody and then also consider subscribing to the channel okay you'll have to wait till next week to get part two all right but i'm excited to do it for you this stuff makes me so happy and so excited i love teaching this information it has the potential and the power to change lives okay so i will see you guys on the next video i hope you have a phenomenal phenomenal trading week and if you're looking for a trading community make sure that you click the link in the video description to join my no cost forex facebook mastermind group and i will see you guys soon bye